And uh, even the county executive's office acknowledges that an athlete or a team can travel outside St. Louis County to participate in a sport that is banned here. Protesters here in Clayton tonight say that's just one reason why they feel the restrictions in St. Louis County should be lifted. I just want these kids back in school and back in sports. Demonstrators want to be heard and want the St. Louis County Executive to take action. We're asking for the county to listen to us as parents, to listen to our children and get them back to being kids. Michelle Gross says it just doesn't make sense. She can drive her son to St. Charles County to legally play sports currently banned in St. Louis County. So if you want to keep losing money in St. Louis County for us to go elsewhere, if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. Bomberito Automotive Skyfox over demonstrators who promise repeated protests and hope their actions will lead to looser restrictions. We asked local attorney Jay Kanzler for his take on what could be the consequences if a team decided to defy a health order and play in St. Louis County. If a, a, an organization, a youth sports team, were to say, I'm not going to follow this, we're going to have our games this weekend, we don't care, they could be issued citations. It's a misdemeanor, but a misdemeanor still carries up to a year in jail and a $2,000 fine. County officials have said they're more interested in compliance than punishment, but teams could also face civil penalties if they defied the order and something went wrong. There's a whole cottage industry out there just waiting to jump on lawsuits. Um, and this is a, a perfect way of saying you are liable organization, you are liable coach, you are liable parents because you were told not to do it. You ignored that and people got sick or died. Now, the county uh, has reported that the highest rate of transmission is among the younger population. And the county health department reports that there have been five episodes of transmission involving students connected to games and practices and each of those episodes involving at least two athletes. Reporting live from Clayton, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.